Hey everybody, this is Levi Clay back again for another short lesson. And in this lesson, what we're going to be looking at is some advanced uh, tapping and position shifts, which I've taken from inspirations like Michael Romeo. I've been a massive fan of Michael Romeo's playing for many, many years. Um, I think the new Symphony X record is fantastic. This is developed from one of the tunes on there, and it's a lick that I played on the song Eulogy from the Hellcat Molly album, Out of the Ashes. Uh, let's take a listen to that lick in the tune so you can hear what it sounds like and then I'll come back and we'll break it down. Okay, so that's definitely one of the more complicated licks on the album. Um, and as you can see, it features a lot of tapping. Um, I'm gonna start this by pointing out that I'm gonna use a fret wrap for this stuff. And a little thing that I think is very important to address, this isn't cheating. When you're doing these, cr these crazy tapping ideas, the first thing you'll notice is that it's very difficult to pull them off cleanly because it's not like Van Halen tapping where you can keep everything muted with the palm. I'm using this to keep everything muted when I'm doing the, the, the lifting off both hands to do position shifts. Um, so this really is unavoid unavoidable. Now, the concept of this being cheating is ridiculous and I wanna get that out there because music isn't a competition. The moment you have a phrase like cheating, you're implying that it's a competition. There's no competitive edge to music. Use whatever you need in order to get your ideas out the way you want them to sound. So this helps me, um, just like for you guys, frets help. You could consider frets cheating if music's competitive. Play, fret, play fretless, the frets just make everything easier for you. It's not about cheating, it's about making the music you wanna hear. So now we've got that out of the way, let's take a look at the technique or the, the lick. So the idea is in D minor um, and it's simple enough in terms of there's sort of three sections to it. So let's look at the first section. The first section is very simple. Um, in the left hand, we're just playing five and eight on the A string. And then I'm tapping 12. Then I'm jumping over the D string and onto the G string and tapping five, seven. And then 12 again on the G string. Now when you're playing an idea like that, it's very important that you get a clean note definition between the tapped note on the A string and the hammered note on the G string. You don't want this. That's ringing into each other. We want very clear note definition, so listen carefully. Now that comes from lifting this finger up, but not completely off the string as this note hammers down. So. so now we could think of that as rolling up. You can then come back down. So we're tapped 12 on the G string, pull off to seven five, tap 12 on the A string, pull off to eight five. And then you've got the first section of the lick. Now this lick, it's worth pointing out, isn't played in time, I float over the beat. So you should be able to push and pull the timing on this one so it fits the pulse um, in a way that you know you find expressive. So that's part one of the lick. Part two of the lick is the Michael Romeo inspired part. In order to do that, I go from part one, you then slide up on the first finger to the eighth fret, and then I'll break it down in two sections. In the left hand, we've kind of got D minor pentatonic. Um, so, I've actually just changed this one note from the fourth down to the flat third. So you've got 10 and 12 on the A, uh, sorry, 8 and 12 on the A, 10 and 12 on the D, 10 and 12 on the G, 10 and 13 on the B, 
and then 10 and 13 on the high E. Now in the right hand, we're just tapping on the 17th fret um, until we get to the last string. So it's gonna sound like this. Now you can tell that I did something slightly different there and what I'm doing is I'm skipping strings. So I start on the A string, playing 8, 12, 17. Skip over to the G string, play 10, 12, 17. Back down to the D string, 10, 12, 17. Over to the B string, 10, 13, 17. Back to the G string, 10, 12, 17. And then over to the high E string and I play 10, 13, this is where things get a little bit bluesier and I play the blues note. So I tap 16, slide up to 17, and then come back down, and then pull off 13, 10, tap 17 on the G, 12, 10, and then roll up and repeat. So. And section two of the lick ends there on that 10th fret uh, G string. So let me play that part slowly for you. It sounds like this. And when I glue the first part on. Now that one's quite hard to play when, when playing quickly because you've got this position shift where you're having to shift in the left hand, but also shift in the right hand. And it's, you know, I often find myself making mistakes when trying to play that, but let me try and do it a little bit faster for you. Um, not too bad. Now to finish the lick, this is where things get a little bit crazy and also cool sounding. We've ended on this 10th fret of the G string. We're then gonna slide all the way up. So we're doing sort of three note per string uh, pentatonic tapping now. So I'm playing 17, 19, 22 on the G, and then 17, 20, 22 on the high E. So getting that can be quite difficult. Again, position shift. Now in order to finish this lick, I, it's sort of played differently every single time. The, the basic principle is I'm starting here on the neck and I want to move down. So I start, then I might slide down and play uh, 15, 17, 20, and roll down. 17, sorry, 19, 17, 14 on the G string. And then maybe I slide down again, 12, 14, 17, pull off, 14, 12 and then tap uh, 17, 15, 12. I'm just aiming to get down to this root note on the D string, so. Now I will roll around here. And I always put a slide on this, so I'll go. And then to finish the lick, We're just sliding up to the 19th fret on the G string. That completes the lick. Let me just play that slowly for you, then I'll play it a little bit faster if I can get it right. and then played a little bit faster. Hopefully I'll get it right. <laughs> Words to that effect. Let's just cut in the original from the track now so you can hear that again. It's gonna sound something like this.
And there we have it, some tapping in the style of uh, Michael Romeo taken from the Hellcat Molly album, Out of the Ashes. Uh, I really hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please do like, share and subscribe uh, and check out my album on Bandcamp and all other available online distribution sources. Thanks for checking the video out, guys. I'll see you again soon.